All right, so let's begin after the break, guys. Perfect. Thanks, Satanu, for acknowledging. So let's get started. So we do have Anuja, Tanu, and Mukul. All right. So Anuj would also join in, probably, I, I believe. So let's get started after the break. You guys have got your, what do you say, WordPress credentials now with you. Now, with the help of the WordPress credentials, what we'll do, we'll... Uh, Go ahead and set up across our website. So what I'm going to do right now, uh, WordPress credentials. Can anybody give me, so Anuja, can you give me your WordPress credentials? I'm logged into your WordPress account. And uh, you guys can respectively log into your WordPress. All right, thanks, Anuja. I'm just going to go ahead and use that first. All right, give me a second. It's working so I can see Anuj has also joined in. All right, so screen, I have actually paused it because I'm entering across the password. That's why. All right, guys. Not sure what was the trouble like. So I'm logged. I'm logged into my to the WordPress account. So I'm using an OJA's WordPress account. I'm logging in, and once you log in, so I, I know you can also do the same. Or uh, everybody, you can log into your WordPress account. So Anuj Anuja's account is right up over here. Anuja, you can log in along with me parallelly. And Atanu and Mokul, all of you, I believe, have logged into your WordPress account. Now, what you can see, the very so, is this the first screen, guys, which each one of you can see? Are you all seeing this same screen, which I am on to right now? Once you're logged in and you can see the same screen in front of in front of you, please do acknowledge in the chat window. All right, so is everybody there? All right, so you can take your time and log into your WordPress account. All right, so Anuj, you want me to repeat again? You just have to log into your WordPress account, Anuj. That's it, nothing else. So the login credentials which you received and also the, uh, the login URL for WordPress and also the password. You have to use the same thing. 
All right, so I'll, I'll help you to reopen the WordPress once again. See what I did? Are you guys uh, equipped with your WordPress credentials? So the WordPress credential guys, which were being given across by, while we were done with the WordPress installation process, do you remember the username, all the WordPress credential, the username, password, and the login URL was being given across to you? Do you have those details with you? Did you save that across? If you have saved those details with you, all you have to do is you have to open the WordPress credential. You have to open the WordPress panel with the same credentials, right? And the moment you're going to op uh, open across the login URL and enter across the username and password, then you will get this screen right in front of you. I don't know, it, say, it says invalid credentials. Well, you might have done some mistake in terms of uh, copy pasting the credentials. How will I help in that? So do you have that page still open up with you? Where the credentials were being given to you? Great, Pratik, you have purchased the domain name, good. So you can refer to the recording later on and I'll help you to get set up the cPanel uh, after today's session or tomorrow or whatever, I'll see. Okay, so. Pratik, do let me know your, uh, what do you say, domain name and also give me your GoDaddy account, GoDaddy credentials. So password absolutely can be changed. All right, so Pratik, give me your GoDaddy account details also. Okay. Guys, let me know wherever you have any problem, okay? Still invalid credentials, why is that coming across? Can you try changing across your WordPress? So what you need to do is, you can change your password. The way it's gonna happen across, I don't know, is, you can change your password by first of all going into your WordPress login URL. See, so it says lost your password, okay? I'm changing it for you, uh, Atanu. Now, what was your username or email password? Your Password, sorry, your your username. Your email is this, right? This is the one which I've used across, I believe so. Is it the same email address which you typed in? All right. Now you can use across, uh, you can try doing it now. And Mukul, uh, you mentioned WordPress. Let me know if in case you have uh, some trouble if you are good with it. Mukul, your credentials are not with me, didn't you? So you actually installed WordPress for yourself, right? That's why if, uh, the credentials would have been with you only. Well, you can also uh, then click on to lost your credentials. Okay, so guys, I think you didn't save your credentials, not a problem. I'll just help you out also, uh, Mukul. Just give me a second. So the URL, absolutely. The URL through which you have to, so you know, the way we saw our cPanel was, it was our website name forward slash cPanel. When it comes down to WordPress, it's gonna be our website name forward slash wp-admin, all right? 
wp hyphen admin this is the url okay then you uh, no problem you just uh, uh, you know get your password changed again again no problem so this is the url uh, mogul for you it's forward slash wp hyphen admin for which it will work Tanu, I've already, oh my goodness. <laughs> I've already done it in front of you. I have actually clicked on to lost your password in your, in your email box. You would have got, so I think you haven't uh, used lost your password, uh, reset your password system ever before in your email. You might have, right? So what do you need to do? You have to go to do your Rediff mail, the same Rediff mail email address which you gave me just now. You have to go there and you might have got an email there. You might have got an email there, which say which would be from WordPress, which will say uh, here you can click and then you can set up a new password. You will be getting across an option of setting up a new password. Meanwhile, I'll just go ahead and help out Pratik also. Let me know if, uh, if you're still facing problem. Pratik, your credentials are not matching up. Pratik, your path details are not matching. Anuja, are you good? Uh, all right, so guys, I'm waiting. No problem. All right, so you're good. And uh, Mukul, were you able to get the last your password setting? And Atunu, you can also help me. You can let me know if you know, need any help. And for Pratik, your good ID details. Anuj, let me know if in case you need any help. No, Anuj, it's so before the break, guys, when I've shown you that when you are, have you installed your WordPress? I did show you that, you know, when you have installed WordPress, I, I installed WordPress for Anuja in front of you for Anuja's website. And in that I have shown you that the WordPress credentials are coming up. I asked you to copy paste it and save it across with you. You're good, Mukul. All right, perfect. So, Anuj, uh, did you install across your WordPress? Let me know that first. Was the WordPress installed? Anuj, I'm helping you, but you have to let me know what, what exactly you did. Did you install the WordPress or not? You did. Okay, but the credentials are not with you. Yes, Pratik, I have logged into your GoDaddy only, my dear. And uh, can you see, I think you're not seeing my screen, Pratik. I logged into your GoDaddy account only and it can say, it's saying you have entered incorrect password. Anuj, your WordPress, you already logged in. Anuj, what are you saying that you don't have your WordPress details? You've already logged into your WordPress and you're saying you don't have the details. My goodness. <laughs> okay. I have clicked on to lost your password, Anuj. Anuj, uh, you will get across your email address. I'm typing in. So Anuj, you can reach, you can change across your password now. You'll get a new password. You'll get a new password in your email box. Within your email, okay, which email? It's anuj.wunch7 at gmail.com. You'll get across an email from WordPress. Just check for that. Okay, Pratik, now your 
code ID account has been opened up because the password which you gave me earlier didn't had G in caps. This time the G in caps is working. I am going to set up for you the name server. No, it's absolutely okay, Pratik. It's okay. Okay, so guys, let me know whenever you need help, please. I'm all here to help you out. So I'm changing the DNS, the domain name server for Pratik, meanwhile, while you guys configure your WordPress, okay? All right, so your domain name server has been changed, and this is your e website name. So all those who are done with WordPress can let me know who are able to log into their WordPress, and I can see Anuja was. Anuja and Mukul, you are right. And Atunu, you are also good? All right, perfect. So Atunu is good, Anuja is good as of now with WordPress. And uh, I'm just setting up for Pratik. And Anuj, once you are also able to do it, let me know. Anuj, the way you're gonna log into your WordPress is by typing in your website name forward slash WP hyphen admin. So your username and your username is there with you and your password is going to be emailed across to you and the URL through which you will log into your WordPress Anuj is this which I've shared right now. All right, meanwhile, I'm just going ahead and setting up for C panel for Pratik, it'll take a minute. All right, Pratik, this web hosting part, which I'm doing right now. Okay, uh, when you listen to the recording, when I when I was helping people, uh, this is something which you don't have to do. Nothing has to be done with regards to hosting Sarah because you're not buying it, right? This is something which I'm doing it from my side. So that's great that you did ask me this question. Wherever you have any trouble, you can let me know. Okay, guys, uh, meanwhile, I'm setting up for Pratik. I'm just waiting even for Anuj, Anuj. I'm waiting for your confirmation also when you're done, please let me know. I want everybody to be on the same page so that I can move further. All right, so the C panel has been set up across for Pratik also. Okay, Anuj, when you say please help, you have to tell me where have you got stuck. So I think this is the fourth or the fifth time you just say please help. Where do you get stuck? You have to tell me the problem area so that I can help you, please. Didn't you receive an email, Anuj? The last thing which I told you that you would have got across an email. 
you haven't received an email from how is that possible from wordpress you haven't received an email yet see uh, anuj this was your this is your wordpress i am it says check your email for the confirmation just received okay perfect all right so guys uh, just bear with me for another 5 minutes meanwhile prateek and anuj the wordpress would be configured across i want everybody to be on the same page to get it working all right so prateek your email address and password so now this has to be seen prateek what i am doing right now i'm logging into your C panel. You can always refer to the recording also later on. I'm just going to be quick in this. Now, this is a step which everyone has to be, uh, everyone has to learn and understand. So, after you log into your C panel, Pratik, what you have to do is you have to ignore the files option, ignore the database, ignore domain, ignore email section, ignore matrices, ignore security. Just click on to software. Underneath software, there is quick install. What we are, we are doing with Pratik's account. we are installing across wordpress all right so when we click on to quick install here are the options it will ask us to install either wordpress drupal zoomla magento we will be clicking on to get wordpress okay and the very first option which says install wordpress i am clicking on to so this is just a refresher for everyone and this is a form which needs to be filled up you're done anuj that's great so i've selected this particular domain of yours leave this to be blank your email address uh, pratik has to be mentioned right up over here which i'm going to do it right now all right so i'm filling up the form and all right so this is no no this is not for the godaddy this is actually for installing wordpress is there any other email address you want me to type in okay now all right so we're just done with installation of your wordpress all right so this is going to install the wordpress now and i'm clicking on to install wordpress now this pop up this is not to be there's nothing to be done over here i am closing this now guys you know uh, something which where uh, i think most of you got uh, lost is that this portion when it's when it's going to get installed when wordpress will get installed it will give us the credential over here in this drop down arrow button so i want every one of you to really look over here the wordpress is getting installed i'm repeating the same stuff again the details which uh, wordpress is going to give us now or right, so it says your install is complete click here to view your notifications view credentials so i'll click onto this drop down arrow button and in this drop down arrow button guys there is the username password and the admin area all right the use the url basic now you have to go in copy this across and paste it across on any specific word document whatever where you want to uh, you know save it across now you can change it later on please i would request you to change it later on i'm logging into one of the wordpress now i believe everybody is going to be on the same page now all right so your wordpress pratik it would take some time to get set up since we have just done it all right so it might take maybe a minute or maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes so pratik you would have to really wait for this setting up of this particular part takes a bit of time now you can you can just concentrate guys on this particular screen so only pratik you would not be able to see this as of now because uh, you know it takes some time and yours is just been configured otherwise each one of you anuja uh, and uh, mukul and anuj and anudre and everybody right so atanu and everyone 
right so all of you can okay pratik even for you wordpress has come up all right that's good so now even pratik you would be able to see that's good i'm logging into your wordpress so all you have to do is you have to log into your wordpress pratik okay you have to log into your wordpress by using the credentials which i have given you and those credentials were actually been provided us in that particular tab where we have installed it when we have installed wordpress we were being given across the credentials okay now this is the screen guys which each one of you would be able to see now now can i get a confirmation from everyone with saying yes that yes you are all there on the same page yes says anuj all right pratik anuj says yes pratik says yes anuja says yes and mukul says yes all right so i believe everybody and uh, atanu how about you or right. atanu also says yes perfect so with that being said everybody is on the same page now everybody has logged into their wordpress and they are on the same page now let me tell you guys this is the back end of a website if we try to see across the front end first of all what you have to do is click right up over here and then there would be a tab which says visit site do a right click all right okay so actually i i was not able to do a right click and i can see so when i tab when i clicked on to visit site this is the tab guys if you will find now your website your website is looking very much like this all of your website would look probably like this only guys okay i'm going back to wordpress okay click on to dashboard again click on to dashboard now you would be able to go back to your dashboard and get see the dashboard like this okay so i'm assuming everyone can see this screen all right now with that being said what i want you to do is i would like to tell you that there are these bigger major tabs guys which you can really work upon but as of now the very first step guys which you have to do is you have to go to appearance section appearance and then themes okay appearance and then themes now on the basis of your uh, what do you say your overall idea that this is what your website is going to be we will be selecting across theme like according to that now let's say now this is uh, pratik's uh what do you say wordpress okay just cross this part now as you can see there are three themes which are available three themes which are available and these are free themes guys this is the look and feel basically which you can see this is the look and feel i can go ahead and now click on to plus add new theme now i think uh most of you have got the uh, or i think anuja's email is all about fashion and mukul's uh, sorry uh, not email website and mukul's website is all about gym stuff and so forth and uh, atanu's email is personal uh, atanu's website is personal one anuj's website is also a personal on a personal domain so on the basis of what your uh, theme of your website is what exactly you're trying to make your website on the basis of that theme would be selected now i have chosen pratik's uh, wordpress as of now as you can see i'm there on pratik's wordpress backend i can search for theme over here let's say i'm looking for a marketing related theme so i'm assuming that pratik is looking to promote himself through his website as a digital marketing professional all right so there are certain themes guys which have been shown across over here which one can select now on the basis of on the basis of this look and feel you can select across okay you can even uh, preview them there's so many themes which are available 
similarly like uh, anuja what you can do is you can type in a keyword which says fashion mukul which you can type in across the keyword which says uh, uh, let's say gym fitness and so forth you will get across certain themes now these three themes guys is something which i don't really recommend i'll tell you this initially you can you cannot select multiple you will be able to select only one of them and only one of the theme will be applicable on your website okay so with that being said you can change it any time but uh, only in the beginning pratik it's advisable to change your theme once you will have your content set up once you will start working on your website after selection of the theme then it would be a difficult process once you have decided on a theme then only start working in terms of creation of content creation of new pages setting up of you know all the other things that's what so as of now i'm selecting a different keyword over here instead of marketing let's say personal profile kind of a team i'm looking at a personal portfolio personal profile which could really help pratik to showcase that yes he is a digital marketer and he wants to showcase there are so many themes i am going to choose across one of the theme you can change it at a later stage so i can see now this is a great theme which probably anuja can be of interest to you or maybe you would have typed in fashion and you could have got that let me just show you what kind of different searches you can do so this is with regards to personal profile so atuna anuj uh, uh sorry anuj um uh, and uh, pratik i believe your website and atanu's website are personal portfolio related so you can look for those if it's let's say related to gym or fitness you can type in across keywords and you can see there are certain themes guys which are available now these all are free themes okay so you can let's say you want to select this one you can do that you want to select the other one you can do that and so forth let's say if it's not related to gym uh it's related to fashion all right so we're ready to fashion there's so many so what themes actually helps us with is themes gives us the opportunity to choose the design on how our website is going to be look uh, how's how's our website going to look like now this is the overall skeleton of the website guys which we'll get the entire content which is within the theme is something which we can change and uh, so forth all right i can replace this image with another one i can replace this text with another one but the overall skeleton you know the blocks the overall functionality is everything is going to be set up for us that's for now another one for fashion related one and so forth so i'm just going to go ahead and enable all right so i'm just going to go ahead and enable across one of the themes for pratik's uh wordpress for pratik's wordpress i'm going to enable across one of the theme pratik you can later on change it okay guys before i tell you all this installation of the theme installation of the theme or right, mukul so in in one theme there are multiple themes can move on our website no uh, in one theme if there are multiple then also we have to select one of those it's not going to be like that so we would be able to showcase only one theme in our website so the internal pages and all it would come on its own audio is not clear or it's, i'm just going to repeat again is it clear for others so it's so only one theme can move only yes only one theme per website anuj says audio is not clear how about others mukul are you good with the audio atano uh, pratik are you good with my audio are you able to hear me perfectly or right, it's okay so i think it's uh, not very clear today or right, it's working absolutely fine 
Or just give me a second. Just, just give me one second. I'm gonna uh, use a different mic. Give me a second. All right, so I'm gonna uh, change the microphone. Let me know if uh, the audio is working fine now or not. All right, Atanu, Anuj, let me know if the audio is coming in fine now or not. I'll see if it's better. All right, perfect. Anuj, how about you? Can you hear me properly now? Is it better from, all right, thanks Mukul. All right, thanks Anuj for acknowledging and Anuj, are you good with the audio part? You're still not good. Uh, then you probably might have to check the output from your side. If that's the case, because everyone can hear me perfectly, you might have to check for, you know, settings at your end. Okay, now, before you go ahead and click on to activate or install the theme, I would like to tell you, are you seeing this? Uh, sure, I I'll let you know, Anuj. How about you have to do in terms of activating or installing the theme are you seeing this message underneath add themes it says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page once you are ready to launch a site click here are you able to see this if any given point of time you are able to see this okay click on to this particular tab guys all right so atanu and mukul you can see this anuja or right, you can also see this and i'm doing it for prateek and anuj if the audio is coming out clearly for you, let me, or, or maybe you can view the recording and then see this. If your message, if there is a message which says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page, once you're ready to launch a site, click here. So you just go ahead and click over here and then we'll get onto the theme part. Okay, now your site is live. Now we can set up across the theme, okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, now whatever theme guys, which you are uh, liking across, you can go ahead and activate it. Okay, so I'm just trying to look which particular theme shall I activate as of now. Maybe let's say I'm using across this one. So the business club one, I'm, so once you have selected the theme, it says install. Okay, you have to, yes, you have to click on install. Click on to install, it will start getting installed, guys. Now these are free themes. I'll tell you what is the difference between the free themes and the paid. Once you have clicked on to install, then there's this option which will say activate. Click on to activate also now. Now the theme has been installed and activated. It says visit the site. Now you can go ahead and click onto this visit the site. Okay. Now the site is looking like this for Pratik's website. It's looking like this. So Pratik, you can change it at any other given point of time. Now, one thing you must have seen that the way it was looking all right, earlier, the, the overall preview and what you're seeing right now, there's a huge difference. The difference is that you're not, you've not got the image, all right? You've not got those tabs, those tabs which you're seeing, the tabs which you're seeing in terms of uh, the menu tabs which are there on the top, even they are missing, the, the other things are missing. What you have to do is, uh, what exactly, why is this happening across is just because this is a free theme. Free theme actually doesn't come with all the options, guys. They all, they do not come with all the options. Uh, it's a paid theme, guys, which comes with all the, in, all the entire functionalities and the, and the data, the sample data, basically. 
this is what I call as a sample data, basically. So it's saying you can buy the premium version. So if you will buy the premium version, it will give you, uh, what do you say, everything right set up. I am looking if I can give you certain paid themes, guys, and set it up for you. Maybe you can work, or maybe just to get your hands dirty, guys, I think it's, it's good to start with a pay, free theme to begin with. Don't, don't invest onto a paid theme as of now. Select a free theme, and once you have installed and activated it, uh, these are various different sections which you can uh, work around onto, okay? So it gives us the option of setting up a menu, which is going to be on the top. We can change the color, all right? The background color, it's white as of now. I want to go ahead and change it to some other color. See, whatever one I want to do that. I can do it right away. So these are small little things which we can do with regards to changing things. So background image, as of now there is no image. I can go ahead and select across an image. I've clicked on to select image. I can upload it from my laptop, from my machine, or there's something called media library. Pratik says, so we have the editing rights now to do any editing or make changes in the managing app, absolutely yes. Whatever thing I want on my website, it, it is now in my control, <laughs> right? To a great extent. I can select a file. I can upload a file. Give me a second, I'm just gonna go ahead and So I've selected a specific image or a file, whatever you want to call that. It will take time to uploading. Yes, it does. All right, so this is, the image is coming right like this. I can change it. So, you know, all of those things can be done. Now I can remove it. Now that's all up to you. How do you want to, want to go ahead and... So this is a small image, that's why it's coming up like this. All right, so I'm removing it right away. So I can go ahead and change all these things, guys, underneath the theme options, the header option. I can go ahead and uh, type in across contact number. So I think this is something which you guys can go ahead and set up on your own. What, what all text do you want at the footer section? and so forth. All of these things can be done. Now, this is just with the, uh, with regards to getting certain settings uh, enabled, all right? So, these are certain settings, guys. Let me just tell you how can you, uh, what do you say, create across a page on your website. So that's very important. So once you're done with this, on the top, you'll see the pages section. You can click onto all pages. So I'm letting you know how can you set up across a page on your website, guys. So I hope everybody's uh, able to see the same screen which I'm on right now, what I'm trying to do I have first of all shown you what all things can you change. You can explore that at a later stage. Okay, once you'll be, uh, you know, you'll be having a good amount of time with you, you can explore all of this on your own. What I'm letting you know right now is the, uh, is the way you can set up a new page. Okay, you have to go to the page section and click on to add new. Now over here, you can uh, put in across the name of the page. So what I've done, I have clicked onto all pages and then add new, you can set up, you can mention the page name, the overall, uh, what do you say, text which you want in the page. And then uh, 
what sort of layout do you want? Do you want three columns, no sidebar and so forth? So uh, let's not get into the nitty gritties of all this part. So let's say this is my page, which is related to, it says about Pratik. All right, so Pratik can now type in whatever. Pratik is a digital marketing professional and so forth, whatever I want, whatever you want. All right, so you can type all of that, publish this page. So this is the about page. Now I'm setting up a new page which says, I'm, I'm clicking on to add new again. And this time, this page I'm setting up as, let's say, contact Pratik. So this is a contact us page. So maybe you can type in his email address. You can type in his phone number over here. All right. And maybe if he wants to add in his, let's say photograph also, he can click on to add media. Okay. And then add media. And let's say this is the image he wants to insert. So the image insertion happens like this. Okay, so he's got the image up also. Now the content has been set up. I'm just giving you a glimpse of how you can set up across pages and within the pages, how can you insert content? How can you insert across images? Now let's say one of the content which he wants, which he's trying to, one of the content which he's mentioning over here onto this page, he wants that to be hyperlinked. So what, so what I'm doing over here, hyperlinked in the sense that particular text is to be, is going to be made across clickable. So go to my website as the text, which I've typed in over here. I'm selecting this text after selecting it. I can pick and choose insert edit link, click on to insert edit link. Now let's say whosoever will click onto this. You want him to actually go to his main website URL, which is this one. The home page basically. So you have I entered the URL URL over here. Click on to apply and that's it. Okay, I've typed in the wrong spelling for website. So I might have to do this again. <coughs> Excuse me. So I hope you guys have understood what exactly I have been trying to do over here. I have got this entire text made clickable. Now whosoever will click onto this particular text will go to this particular page. All right. I'm clicking on to publish. So we've got two pages being created. We've got two pages created guys. One is the about Pratik page and the other one is the contact Pratik page. Okay. Now, if I go to the main website again and, and I try to refresh it, let's see. So the website is looking like this. As you can see, the background color was changed. That's why it's coming up like this. And do you see the two more pages have come up over here guys about Pratik, about Pratik and contact Pratik. They have come automatically over here. Make sense guys. Are you good? So there are several things which can be done with regards to setting up the website. Perfect. That's great. Anuja. That's great. Thanks for acknowledging. So all of you can actually work around to it. There are going to be many instructions, which you'll find it over here as well. Okay. You can go to the customize section and in the customized section, you can make changes over here. All right. So what happens is guys, the overall settings, Okay. Customize with customize. What happens is, okay. Let me just tell you 
that all these changes onto a website guys differs from theme to theme whatever i'm going to do on pratik's theme right now might not hold true for each of your themes also so there are so many things guys which are uh, going to be different as per themes now this is a uh, what do you say free theme guys i don't want you to put a lot of focus onto a free theme and expect your website to be set up uh, perfectly if you want a great perfect website to be set up you would have to make a small investment which is with a paid theme a paid theme will actually give you everything set up across it would be sort of a ready made thing okay there is this website called themeforest.net which sells across paid theme if you are very much serious about getting across your website uh, set up in the most professional manner then you would have to So here we have, I hope everybody is able to hear me, right? So here we have theme forest guys and I have clicked on to the WordPress themes, okay? In the WordPress theme section, thanks Anujo for acknowledging. The page.
internet guys so i was telling you the difference between the free and the paid and i was saying that uh, i might try to see if i can get some paid theme for each one of you so that you don't have to invest in from your side okay and let me just give you a glimpse of these paid themes so let's say i'm looking at the fashion related themes so once we have typed in once we have clicked on to wordpress so the first thing is to click on to wordpress now we here we have all the wordpress there are 9401 wordpress themes guys over here and you can type in across the keyword over here on keywords with regards to what sort of a website are you trying to look at so i am looking for let's say a a, a fashion related website i've typed in the keyword which says fashion as you can see there are several uh, wordpress themes we are getting to see small you know thumbnails which are giving us a depiction of how these themes are really looking like let's say i want to go with this one okay but i want to see how this theme really looks like i can see a live preview i'm clicking on to live preview and this is the page which came in next i'm clicking on to live preview again now the preview which you were seeing for the free theme and the preview which you are seeing for the uh, paid theme they are almost similar but with the free theme you saw that the data was in there the data as in uh, the dim the dummy data like the images were missing the tabs on the top were missing the pages were not being created right all these pages would be there with the paid theme that's the that's the great part about it and various different functionalities all right so this is a e-commerce theme even if you in case you want a e-commerce website to be set up that can be done across without having any technical knowledge you are able to create across these e-commerce sites you are able to create across any sort of a website okay these sections will absolutely come in with the paid theme all right all these different pages right your home page your contact us page and so forth i created multiple lots of lots of websites using wordpress like this and uh, they look absolutely professional even you can go ahead and you know start creating these websites and sell it across as a freelancer if you want so we have spoken in the beginning that what's your objective like what do you want to do whether you're working for an organization whether you're working for yourself or whether you want to set up across it's a already built in website absolutely and you will get across everything you can create these websites change across the text but the text has to be changed right because the dummy content is not going to be there you would have to go ahead and uh, delete some of the pages there's so many pages you probably might not need those pages all of these and the the text the the dummy content which is there you would have to delete that dummy content and get across a new content but these images will come you can go ahead and edit these images also you can replace this image with some other image of your choice now as you can see this is the dummy content it says lopsum ipsum lopsum ipsum is a dummy content basically or right, it's some other language so you can go ahead and edit across all of these all right but this but certainly it gives a good idea of what all content needs we absolutely it does it gives you a good framework it gives you a good picture it tells you that okay how you can really expect your website is going to be like so once you have decided on what theme you want to have then only you make that investment but i'll try to see if i can get across uh, a you know certain paid themes for you guys all right so don't worry on that as of now just work on to the free themes guys all right so that's to do with the website creation but there are multiple things which can be done on to wordpress website what i can tell you and i can suggest you is my pleasure is to go to youtube.com there are going to be several uh, videos around wordpress guys just so you can look for various videos related to Uh, how to create a wordpress based website how to make a wordpress based website how to edit a wordpress based website there's so many you videos around that why not do it yourself so you can find across a lot of videos around that and uh, 
watch these videos it will it will give you good understanding of different things you can do like a very easy thing but if you are going to do something uh, which you are not sure of you can land into trouble so don't don't do something which you are not uh, very confident about okay then it would be bad for your website make sure you perform all those activities which you are confident and you have actually seen it across on any of the website okay so it says beautiful custom websites it says zero coding required so there's so many videos which you can watch across and it will give you a lot of understanding our major focus is going to be uh, purely on to the marketing part less on website creation part so website creation guys on a basic level once we are done we will be looking at how to go in market it across with the help of all those digital channels which we have spoken about okay after uh, the website is set up we'll we'll learn how to create google ads the display ads the social media part we'll understand the search engine optimization and so forth so tomorrow we would be starting with the search engine optimization part on the so i'll go ahead and go press i can now uh, let you guys not able to hear me can you hear me can you hear me now all right no audio again now i can now you can all right so what i'm saying let's go for a break and then after the break we'll see what all things we have to cover across and uh, tomorrow is tomorrow when uh, when we'll meet again we'll start with uh, wordpress uh, sorry uh, seo all right or uh, tanu you missed the missed the about and the contact you can refer to the recording that was not much of a rocket science so we have created a cross couple of pages basically couple of pages is what we created and those pages once they were being created they were done in a very simple manner and they were right up over here so the pages which we created they right over here so this is what we created all right yeah as of now currently work with a free team because uh, working with a paid team is something which i'll recommend to be done at a later stage just get your hands dirty right now with with a paid with a free team as of now and i'll see till meanwhile I, i'll see if i can uh, fetch in some paid teams for you so that you don't have to invest from your side All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put myself on the mute, and then we'll uh, meet after the break, after 20 minutes, and we'll take it further from there, guys. Okay? So I'm putting myself on the mute. All right, so Anuj, uh, if you are looking to invest in terms of the theme. Uh, all teams are good what i can suggest to you is to go ahead and look at your look from your side which team is uh, good uh, is is looking good for you i mean in the sense just look at from the design perspective every team is good from the functionalities point of view so from a technical perspective i don't really need to choose in anything you can go to teamforest.net the same website and uh, find out i mean there's so many themes available over there whichever theme looks good to you in terms of look and feel you can go with that you can go with that as an advertising professional all right so so go ahead and look at various themes and find out and and see which one is uh, looking more attractive to you you can you can go with that and in which way we learn more through paid theme or free the paid theme is something with which you'll learn more because you will be able to do several things so just give me a week's time i'll i'll try uh, maybe week or couple of weeks time and i'll try to find out uh, what do you say a paid theme for you if in case i'll get that it'll be good in case you guys are willing to spend in uh, or invest in across from your side you can you can do it right away you can just go to 
themeforest.net and uh, purchase in the theme which you're finding it to be uh, you know good uh, good from the design perspective all right so i'll just go ahead and uh, mute myself and then we'll meet after break guys perfect or you want to change your theme uh sure you can do that you can you can change that uh, i'll show it right after the break how to change that okay i'll let you
All right, guys, so just back off the rig, just trying to check the chats. All right, so Pratik says, I think firstly we should try with three themes as we don't have much knowledge of website creation right now. Once we are good in it, then we can try the paid themes. Absolutely agreed. Right, Pratik, yes, I totally agree with your point. All right, so just trying to check if everybody's able to hear me loud and clear. Perfect. Thanks, Mukul. Thanks, Pratik, and thank you, Anuja. And how about others? Anuj? Atanu, all right, that's great. Okay, so guys, with regards to the website creation part, we are almost done. I'll just, okay, Pratik, see one question. How can we delete any changes that we'll make on our website? Sure. So if you have made any, let's say, if you've done something over here on this website, so what, what is that portion that you want to go and delete? Do you want to give me an example, Pratik? Have you done something which you would like to get changed? So let's say on this page, I want to go ahead and delete across something, maybe the email and the phone number. I mean, it's just pretty simple. I can go ahead and uh, delete it, right? And then update it. So this is with within an element, with one sort of, one small element within a web page, you can go ahead and delete that across. And uh, if you want to go ahead and straight away delete these pages, the, the total page and all, you can go ahead and delete it right from here. So you can go ahead and delete this. Right? You can move it to trash. All right, so that's what you can do. Now, after your website is ready to a certain extent, I have a small task for each one of you guys. I would request you to please make at least five pages. All right, at most, or at least, at least, sorry, at least five new web pages. All right, using the free theme, using, I'm just telling you, five new web pages using a free website theme. Now, these five pages. Uh, Tanu and everyone could be related to, let's say, of, I mean, they would be of your website. So let's say, you know, two of the ideas are right up over here, like about us page, contact us page, these can be a couple of pages. Then you can have, let's say, uh, whatever your website is all about. Let's say your website is pro providing across certain product or services. If you yourself have created across your website on your own name, your personal portfolio page, then you can have another tab which says, let's say, your projects or maybe your uh, whatever, your portfolio, that could be a page number three. Your page number four could be, let's say, achievements, all right? So if you're creating a product, your personal profile one, right? Say, right? So let's say achievements, maybe education, another page which says work experience. So something like this. So I want you to create across, uh, you know, five pages at least by going onto the pages section and create, click onto add new. Just get that up. And also five post page. Now post is something, the blog post. When you go to the post section, click onto add new and similarly, you will be able to create across, uh, at least create across two posts. Two posts is minimum, I would say. This would be needed for the creation, for the uh, search engine optimization process. All right for the search engine optimization process. Are we all good with this? The difference between post and pages, all right, sure. So in this kind of a thing, blog post, so let me show you uh, my website. You, you get to understand in my website, uh, I've got the post section, I've got the pages section. Post is a blog post basically, and pages is the web page. So I've shown you this website previously. All right, I'm just opening it across. Yes, it's a blog, that is correct. So this is my website, okay? So I've got a page number one, which is the home page. I've got page number two, the about page. 
and underneath the about section i've got page number 2 agency page services page pricing packages blah 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 and so forth i've got so many pages and underneath the services tab i've got so many pages right these are all pages these are web pages but if you go to the blog section all right there is no uh, sub tab underneath blog but the moment i'm going to click on to blog you'll see several posts being there several blog post so post means the blog post basically okay as you can see there is this tab which says one of the posts which says six ways to grow your podcast audience with the seo another one says bing ads roll out scheduling so this is post number 2 post number 1 now your post could be about anything maybe just start in across things related to your first blog post could be like you know you're mentioning okay my name is mokul and uh, i'm coming up with a website name blah 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 whatever and the objective of this uh, website is this and i'm going to be updating across my blogs on regular basis and i'm going to be sharing plus this kind of content i'm just giving you an example or maybe you know in your first blog post page you can type in my my name is anuja and i'm opening i'm i'm uh, getting this new uh, website related to fashion and uh, uh, i'm going to be updating across this blog on regular basis but keep on updating content related to this and that okay so that kind of stuff you can post that across in post we can use link from absolutely you can link from any website you can use the link from any website that's something which you can do that is correct all right all right pratik says okay basically about ourselves or our website giving an introduction right to begin with just give a cross introduction if you can think of something else you can do that too also you can do that as well all right understood so this is your task for today guys like i said last time uh, this is the first uh, in the second session that's why there is not uh, you know any to do list or there is nothing which i can ask you right now to be performed across make sure you get this uh, website set up with a free theme and get across uh, five pages minimum and two blog posts minimum that's something if you can do maybe by tomorrow that'll be great uh, and uh, if not tomorrow at least by next saturday for sure okay all right so just to recap what we have done today so we started with i know just can you please let me know how to change a free theme oh yes absolutely that is another question so let's say you've got a website a free theme or next saturday you will be doing it sure no problem okay so if you have already got a theme set up and you want to change a free theme from one to the another you need to go to the appearance section click on to uh, themes appearance and then themes okay and as you can see this is a theme already which is existing for pratik's website now let's say i'm not going to change it but i'm letting you know the procedure let's say i'm doing my search again and with my search oops what is this or a teams and okay add new theme okay you have to click on to add new theme and by clicking on to add new theme you'll find across all these various themes which are available let's say you want to go ahead and get this one installed all you have to do is you have to click on to install and then activate the same procedure what will happen the old one will go and the new one which is this one will act, i will get activated the so it will get overwrite so overwriting would happen make sense perfect so that's what you have to do and let's do a small recap of what we have covered any further questions guys before i do the recap of what was being done what is being done today our pratik says and all changes we made in our theme will be transformed some of them will get transformed not all because you know the difference there are certain times differences with the one theme to another so partially you will find them to be there and partially they will get lost so we can't really uh, be sure about that which one would be lost and which one would be there 
that will happen when we once we, so that's why it's recommended to select a theme uh you know once and then work around on to it changing across themes again and again is is a painful process okay and it just says can we manage more wordpress theme so from uh, from what do you say c panel you won't be able to manage uh, the themes and so forth from the wordpress panel the theme is not yet uploaded which i had selected well if you are not added then then select that first and then do it and it just says i mean to say that more than one theme can be installed with one within one theme panel yes but only the one which you have uploaded recently anuja that would be activated if you have selected multiple one like earlier you had some other now you have had some other and so forth what's going to happen is you mean to say that more than right so what's going to happen is you be the uh, you'll be having across the new theme the recent theme which you have uploaded only that one only that particular one will be activated would be visible across all right all right perfect i hope you got the answer All right. So, any other question, guys, which I can help you with? All right. So, let's do a recap. C panel host creator. uh is what we did just recap the class absolutely so we started today with uh with the godaddy account so we went to the godaddy account we went ahead and uh, changed the name servers right we saw how do we really go ahead and change the name servers by getting into the domain setting option once we uh, change the name setting options i gave you the c panel details for each one of your website make sure you save them across with each with, with you guys save those credentials and don't do anything with it if you're not really confident about something i'm saying it again and again if you're not confident about something don't click on to any of the item which is there in the c panel then we went ahead and uh, uh you know installed wordpress right by getting into the quick install section we installed wordpress and once the wordpress so this is what the screen grab we clicked on to get wordpress we installed it after clicking on to this we got a form fill up right a form came in which we filled up and after the form was being filled up there was this wordpress panel which we received and the web wordpress credentials were also being given to us with the help of the wordpress credential the username and password we were able to log in to wordpress and we were able to see the dashboard which looks something like this right so this is the dashboard guys now with this dashboard we are able to uh we are able to uh, see various different sections within our website which we can go ahead and uh, change across which we can go ahead and edit across and so forth the very first thing which we did was we went to the settings tab we went to the settings tab and then click on to themes appearance sorry not the settings sorry appearance we went to the appearance tab and underneath appearance there was this themes we clicked on to the theme section and we i i i had shown you the free themes i have installed and activated it and shown you how can we really go ahead and create across create across a new web page and so forth now in the end i have requested you to come up with five pages and two blog posts which you are guys are saying by next saturday you would be getting it done and that's all for today and i think this is good to uh, consume and across this part of content and 
once you will get the recording refer to the recording again get things set up and i've asked you the c panel credential uh, i gave you in the chat pratik you haven't got it so just scroll down the chat all right Pradeek, uh, when I was installing that point of time only, I had shared that. But let me still share it with you. Your website name forward slash. So whatever your website name is, all right. Uh, forward slash C panel was the username. Was the sorry login URL. All right. Make sure you type in that. And your username was I believe your first name and your last name, which you use that. And your password was this. All right. So, Pradeek, you can say that across. And you have your WordPress credentials with you. Make sure you uh, say that, guys. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send this document to each one of you. Anuj, are you good? Can I get confirmation from everyone that you guys are good before we wrap up the session? And all right, Anuj says yes. And how about you, Anuj? Atanu says okay. Mukul says good. That's great. Thanks. And I can see I have given. So one, two, three, four. So Mukul and Pratik is also done. All right, so there are five. Finally, theme got approved. Perfect, that's great. So I'm just going to go ahead and good, but Anuj says, but I need the recording of today's session. Go. Yes, absolutely, you'll get the recording for sure. I'm going ahead and sending across this Word document, guys, and I would need the email addresses to send that across. All right, guys, I'm sending across this document to each one of you uh, using the same email addresses I have. I believe that works, right? Right, your cPanel credentials, Pratik, you have to type in your full website name and then forward slash cPanel. It's in caps, capital, capital. Whatever I've typed in capital, Pratik, it's in caps, and whatever I've typed in, in small is in small. All right, guys, I think I've say, I'm, I have uh, marked everyone, Tanu, Mukul, Pratik, Anuj, and Anuja. All right, guys, I've, I'm sharing across this sheet with you. All right, so it's uh, there in the outbox folder. So thanks, everyone, guys. You will be receiving across this particular document, uh, the Word document which I have shared in a while. And I'm just going to go ahead and launch across a poll. All right, guys, so I've just uh, launched a poll. I would request you to please uh, fill up 
I mean, do participate in the poll. Okay, I think you're not viewing the question. So poll is not working. Is it? Is the poll working, guys? Not sure about that. Okay, you can't see the poll. Just give me a second. I'm going to launch it once again. All right, so guys, there is this poll which says, please rate the session on a scale of one to five. One being poor and five being excellent. All right. And I'm launching the poll. I believe now you can see the poll. So on a scale of one to five, there's some error at the know which is coming for you. As so I can see, one of the poll has been done. So all those who can see the poll can uh, can give in their feedback. I'll I'll just check at know why exactly is it happening for you. Can others? Can everyone see the poll? Error one is coming. Okay, then I'll just check. All right, so I've got uh, four people who have submitted. I believe Athanu for you, it's uh, not coming over. No problem, it's okay. So, could be some technical glitch. All right, so take care of, take good care of yourself, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Have a great day, have a great evening, and have a great night, depending upon what time zone you are in. And uh, we'll be meeting across tomorrow, same time, and we'll take it further from there. All right, thanks, everyone. Take care, and have a great day, have a great night, have a great evening. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.